Hey everyone, welcome to Meeple Bits. Thanks for joining me for this unboxing of Wayfarers of the South Tigris, a game by Shem Phillips for one to four players with a playtime of 60 to 90 minutes. This is my most recent Kickstarter to arrive, so I'm real excited to bring this unboxing. As many of you know, a uh, real huge fan of the games that Shem puts out, so real happy to get this one and get it to the table. Unlike some of my other Kickstarters, even these Kickstarters run so smoothly, so I just really appreciate that unto itself. It delivered um, on time, and I, I, I wanna say even earlier than, than originally anticipated. So with that, let's go ahead and open this guy up and see what we have. To begin, uh, there was a uh, two separate packagings, uh, one for the metal coins, which I, uh, I added on because, well, they always are a good quality metal coins. So definitely like to add these to the games. Some nice upgraded components. You guys can hear that that clang. Uh, they, they look real, real nice, real, real, real cool. So we got metal coins and then a separate uh, promo pack. I think I I have to pull up the details of the Kickstarter uh, to recall exactly what what these separate cards were for. But you'll notice that they are denoted with uh, star icons in the uh, in the upper corner, so that you know that they are part of. Um, I guess promo or something uh, special and specific. So uh, they feel a little thin. Not, not. I don't know. They. I feel like the stock on some other games of his are generally thicker. Uh, I'll go back and confirm. But um, artwork looks great, but the cards feel a little thin. So with that, let's go ahead and open this one up. Okay, rule book, as always, good old rule book. And in perfect Shem style, exactly the same colors and iconography that I've come to uh, know and enjoy and understand. Uh, punch board, okay. So we have, we have punch board, so we've got punch board provisions, we've got punch board uh, currency. So for these provisions, um, there wasn't a, an upgrade for that. I don't know if it makes sense to keep them as is, or if I might just end up 3D printing some, uh, some separate uh, provisions. But um, yeah, so otherwise we've got a lot of punch board uh, tiles and other things in here. Let me, uh, let me just pop out one of these big boards here, there we go. I don't know if they're purposeful or if there's there's some sort of dual side to these. So again, I'll have to read the instructions to to get an idea of exactly what I'm what I'm working with here. But a uh, lot lot going on here. But uh, the the quality of, of this punch board is is really good. So if these are even a semblance of player boards, um, good good quality. So happy happy for that. All right, so we'll take these, set them off to the side. And we've got another board in here. Again, sort of dual-sided. I, I don't really see an indication of, of what's what exactly, so I will have to check check the rule book. Again, good good quality. Um, yet another board, <laughs> dual-sided again. <laughs> And then the uh, tray insert, the, the the vac insert. So, yeah, that's I, I really appreciate this because, um, yeah, it seems like everything has a place. Now, in general, um, I will say that designers have in the past put a diagram on the box. So this one doesn't have it. So I'm wondering if there's a diagram in the rule book to indicate where things go. I, I hope there is because otherwise I'm just going to be kind of fumbling around figuring it out. Um, so far, nothing. Okay, well, if I can give one piece of advice in that regard, you've got this uh, very nice vac insert tray. I would just love to know where you expect me to put everything. Um, that guidance would be appreciated. Next up is our tokens and our meeples. 
good good quality there. Um, thin, lightweight, but uh, you know sturdy and will absolutely hold up to to many gameplays. Pack of dice. So we've got four sets of dice in uh, four presumably player colors. Uh, they again, they look small in, in diameter, but uh, not not necessarily a, a bad thing. But I'm, I'm guessing these trades are probably for players one through four. So okay, yeah, they feel they feel good though. They feel good. I'm not mad about that. And then uh, cards. No, they're. Go. Got my trusty um, box cutters because I pretty much suck at opening these things, so this always helps me out. All right, so main deck of cards, I, I imagine these are going to be identical to those promo cards that I had out before. Um, and, and yeah, they are. Uh, uh, there's a decent linen finish on them. Um, artwork looks looks good. Looks very very consistent. Um, dual sided of, of sorts, and um, yeah yeah real real excited to uh, to start to read through the rules and figure out what's what in here. But uh, otherwise, yeah the um, the cards are of a similar thin ish stock. Uh, again, I don't I don't know why that would be the case because in in general, um, his cards are usually okay see they already feel kind of bendable a little, little too bendable but all good okay so with that um i am going to put this back together punch out all the uh the board i mean that's that's everything that we have in this box so we just got another deck of cards here and uh the the shrink tray which is again well organized that's one less insert that i have to print with that though, I don't know how the insert goes, so I will have to punch this out, probably check somewhere on BGG to see if there's a, a diagram for me, and then uh, piece this all back together. But uh, thank you guys for joining me for this unboxing of Wayfarers of the South Tigris. I'm gonna try to get this to the table probably, um, you know, very soon uh, so I can bring you guys a, a how-to and a proper review. But um, if you have any questions about this game, you can ask them and I will do my best to answer them. If you've enjoyed the video, uh, I do appreciate the support. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, everyone, until next time, thanks so much for watching.